In Texas, it is hot in the summertime. And in the summertime, we use our air conditioning a lot. We use it throughout the year, but certainly in the summertime, it's cycling on and off. Question has come in. Yeah. Why do my lights dim every time my air conditioning system comes on? What's happening there, Luke? Mm. It's no good. It's no good. So mm. that's the, the air conditioning pulls a massive amount of power in order to get it started. So if you think about like a, um, remember the, not a Ferris wheel, what's the merry-go-round? What's the thing where you, yeah, Yeah, the merry-go-round, yeah. Okay, so getting it started, oh yeah, uh, uh, right? And then once you're on, then you're you're getting dizzy and throwing up later. (laughs) So that's the, that's, that's the idea behind the compressor. The compressor on your air conditioning unit pulls a lot of power to get it going to get to get that refrigerant moving around the system that refrigerant goes all throughout the system and it takes some it takes some oomph to get that thing rolling okay once it's rolling that startup power is done then it chills out but that startup power if you don't have good wiring going to it or if your if your power at your breakers your your breaker box any of those spots are weak then it takes it you're going to see it it really pull your voltage down because there's this thing called Ohm's law. It's just a a rule about electricity, but basically all it means is if you have higher amperage, you're going to be dropping down the, the, the voltage. Okay. So when the voltage drops down, the light's going to be, it's like a dimmer on Mm -hmm. stuff. Um, It's not always a problem, but if it's consistently happening with this person, it's, there could be a lot of electrical issues going on and maybe even air conditioning going bad on them. Um, it, the older those motors get, they they can pull a lot of power. And then on top of that, if there's not surge protection, if there's not good grounding, good wiring, if there's loose connections, it just it can really stack up on issues with their electrical system. You know, Luke, you brought up a good point. If in the past, when your air conditioning unit cranked up, the lights didn't dim, but they're beginning to now. Maybe your AC system needs to be looked at by a qualified HVAC technician because it may be beginning to fail. And it's important to know that here in Texas, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely a sign. It's pulling a lot of power. If it wasn't doing it before, now it is. It's pulling a lot of, and we have, um, I just saw one, uh, yesterday. It was a, um, we have a lot of these breaker panels called Challenger and, uh, they, <laughs> They did not. They, they're they're synonymous for that. They they would have um, really weak aluminum type of bus bars, oh. and then within 10, 15 years, where the the bus bar is where the breaker connects. Yep. Okay, that spot there would get really charred up and have a bad connection. And it, and every time the air conditioning unit would kick on because it pulled a lot of power, it would get worse and worse and worse. And we have so many of those and you'll just, you'll, you'll, you'll hear that call. You'll understand what's going on. You go out there. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's the breaker panel. It, it, because that really does cause some gnarly voltage and um, bad. It can, it, it, it yeah. can cause some, some hot spots throughout the system. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, something else, if you have an older home or a home with a circuit that's not designed for a portable air conditioning unit. Maybe it's a window unit. Maybe it's on an addition to a house that you decided not to put the HVAC system and maybe it's in the garage or a a shed, okay? Mm -hmm. It's likely that circuit isn't designed for that draw because when you're turning, especially a good size window unit, you're looking at a problem if that outlet's not rated for the draw and you might you might break the breaker right it might it might trip yeah no you're absolutely right definitely any any air conditioning unit or heating unit they need to have a separate circuit they just pull too much power it's just going to cause too many issues so if you're if you're planning on having a window unit 
Don't just plug it into any any plug around there. Have a dedicated circuit. Just trust me. I've seen too many issues caused when when people try to plug it in with with a branch circuit, one that's kind of branching throughout the house to other outlets and whatnot, or lights and switches. Just have it dedicated. If it's a window unit or a mini split, a lot of people are adding mini splits these days with their garages. You know, get a new circuit to it. Um, don't tap it on to the dryer or, you know, welder or whatever type of other circuit you ha- you're having. Get a separate circuit for that and just just don't worry about it anymore. It's great advice. It's really the way to go. Luke, as always, thank you so much for joining me today here on the program. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.